This is Peggy Ann Saltz, and this is 4 Minutes with Pure Wisdom from our marketing masters and the companies that help them set the bar. Today, we're chatting with Tobias Kellner, Industry Relations Lead for Google Germany. Tobias, tell us what you do there. I work as an Industry Relations Lead for Google in Germany, which means that I'm managing our activities with advertising trade bodies, particularly in Germany, to make sure we are contributing to a responsible advertising ecosystem, which obviously also includes the MMA. Google's mission has always been to focus on the user and everything else then will follow. And so we have seen in numerous studies that consumers, be it in Germany, in Europe, or even globally, want more control over how their data is you know, handled and shared. And so the Privacy Sandbox aims to create new technologies that both protect people online and their privacy online and give companies and developers tools to build thriving digital businesses. And it does so by using aggregation, on-device processing and other more private technologies to limit the use of cross-site identifiers like third-party cookies. I also wanted to mention that it's not just about third-party cookies on the web. In January, indeed, we announced the Privacy Sandbox for Android, which includes plans for new privacy-preserving advertising solutions for apps as well. Currently, we have over 90% of the apps on Google Play as free uh, providing access to valuable content and service to billions of users, really. Um, and digital advertising plays a key role in making this possible. And so Android will soon introduce new advertising technologies that don't rely on cross-app identifiers and that have been designed to ensure consistency in the approach between our efforts with Privacy Sandbox for the web and Privacy Sandbox on Android. And we have a common vision to enhance this privacy while helping uh, advertisers reach their goals. And while, you know, the web and mobile apps rely on fundamentally different technologies, advertising really supports the web ecosystem and the ecosystem for apps in similar ways. And so we expect the Android APIs to be available for testing later this year. From the start of this project, we have been developing these tools in an open uh, way and sought feedback at every step to ensure that this solution really works for everyone and not just for Google. So we have an engagement with the CMA, the British uh, Competition Authority, and the ICO in the UK. And we have come up with a set of commitments uh, for how we plan to design and implement the Privacy Sandbox uh, for the web. How do these, um, you know, um, commitments in the UK apply to markets like Germany? Uh, and I want to be clear that these commitments apply globally and we are being transparent about our progress through public quarterly reports. Obviously, we consider the role of the MMA in Germany as a key part and a crucial to collect feedback to get this transparency process we just talked about. Um, and really collect this feedback from your members and act as a key pillar in our engagement with the ecosystem, really. We'll provide regular updates on designs and timelines, uh, and you can obviously also sign up to receive updates. And we have already made, indeed, changes to our proposals based on industry feedback. So, for example, the Topics API, which is one, you know, a proposal within the Privacy Sandbox uh, that is designed to show relevant ads, uh, and content to users uh, was created to address feedback that we received from the industry on an earlier concept, which was called Federated Learning of Cohorts. Given MMA's large membership and its exp expertise in especially the mobile area, I would say, the MMA is really a key partner to develop the project further. Uh, and I would just uh, like to encourage everyone to participate through the many public feedback channels that inform development of the propo proposals or the MMA itself. 